All right, so we're going to look at changing the topology of a very simple mesh like this. Uh, in order to have, you know, eyes, ears, nose, all that good stuff. On the mouth, we're going to look at a different model altogether. And the one thing you should know about this is you should always be practicing, always create like a very basic head, and then uh, try changing the topology of that head around until you get really good at it. All right, so going to go to first apply this modifier so I could just get this and we'll go into edit mode. What should I work on first? Well, maybe the eyes. First off, know that this is positive X and I know that because the red arrow is pointing that way. That means I want to get rid of my negative X. Okay, let's go to edit mode and let's go and turn this feature on. Uh, so I can see through the mesh. Make sure you're in user orthographic if you ever do this and just chop away at the character. Delete faces. Oops. Faces. There we go. What I need to do is separate the two halves. To do this, I like to employ an edge loop in this area right here. Just like that. And what that'll do is allow me to use these as my eyes. If I didn't have, if I had these connected to the other half, uh, it would have lead to very poor topology when I go to add the nose. So I'll always separate the eyes by at least two or three strips of edge before you go into the other side of the face. Okay, let's kind of shape this up just a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to go into sculpt mode and just get a smaller brush. Just kind of balance this out a little bit. There we go. Now that's where I'm going to keep the eyes. Okay, let's go into edit mode. And what I like to use is on the space bar, type in inset faces. All right, over here I can choose my thickness level. And I'll just go like that. Then I switch over to select inner by unchecking select outer and go into smooth vertices. Perfect. Then what I usually do is control E and push those back. And again with the smooth vertice, do one of those numbers. Okay, that usually makes a good eye socket opening. All right, what about the ear? While we're over on this side, why don't we take care of that? Well, here's the eyebrow. Um, what I usually do is tend to look at one strip down from that. And then also the mouth, how it runs up. If you, if you kind of look at your human face for a second uh, and touch the bottom of the side of your ear, you'll run into the corner of your mouth. Okay. So in general, um, since this is not really a humanoid character, it's kind of I don't know, ogre-like. <laughs> uh, we'll look at just generally placing an ear within the bounds of here to there. Okay. First off, we use the knife tool. Uh, knife tool is amazing. Oops. I'm gonna start here. And I'm gonna place Topology just like this. And we'll go one more down on that. Let's do that one more time.
right about here. Then we'll split, split right here. There we go, hit enter. And now we'll take the knife tool and go from here to here. Enter. Knife tool here to here. Enter. Knife tool here to here. Enter. And knife tool here to here. Enter. Perfect. All right, then I generally take these faces and do a little bit of smooth vertices to straighten them out. Then I'll take Sculpt. And you'll see Sculpt doesn't really give me a whole lot of play. I'm just going to have to, I just want to round these up a little bit. And it's easier for me to do this in Sculpt very quickly and just jump back in edit mode. Okay. That's just me. All right. Uh, then what I'm going to do is control E it, extrude that out, again smooth vertice it down, just like that, then what I usually do is take this and flatten it off. Okay, then go into sculpt mode. And we'll start pulling these around. And we'll form a ear. Keep in mind this is just a low poly topology ear. It's a good starter point. Good, and if you hold shift, it'll flatten. Good, let's go back in edit mode. And generally what I like to do now is work out the inner of the ear. Just like that. Uh, control E. And then smooth it. And again, go into sculpt mode, play around with those vertices. And then hold shift to smooth that down. Sometimes I'll go back in, or go into draw and use the subtract feature to push this stuff in. There we go. So that gives me the good topology for the ear. I could test that out by going back to edit mode and using control R. And I should be able to see, put an edge loop in the center here. Uh, the rest of it just kind of goes off to the side. I don't need an edge loop that goes around this area, but in here I do need an edge loop. So that way 
this no stress from the eye ever touches the ear and no stress from the ear ever touches the eye. So that's a good starting point. And then you can go on with the sculpt after that. Yeah, a little bit left over here. So I'm just kind of generally pushing these in and out just for a second, just to kind of get that a little bit more straight. Usually I don't waste too much time at this point with detail. I'm just trying to get a larger form for later on sculpting. You can also touch, test the, the sculptability or subdividing. You can see that in this area now, there's a lot of good unified uh, polygons to hold lots of massive amounts of sculpt. That's what's important. Okay, let's get that out of here. All right, what about the nose? I think I'll cover the nose on another video, but for right now, here's a good start for the topology head.